Hey, everybody. I'm Kim Congdon. I'm Alex Scarlato. And this is another episode of Broad Topics. <laughs> um so what's new what what did you what happened alex (laughs) alex came in today with a black eye i do have a black eye she has a black eye it's getting a little bit better hold on i'll take my glasses off she tried to do a smoky eye in the other eye and she looks like a fucking rape victim that's trying to hide it i i really i tried to like cover it up um with makeup but Mm -hmm. it really just made it like greener for some reason what happened and why do white people turn green when they bruise? <laughs> that I can't tell you. Um, but Brown goes purple. White people go green. Um, white people go purple at a certain point. We go green and then purple. Maybe we all go green and purple and I'm just being racist. Maybe you haven't been hit hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time. <laughs> uh, I've been dating Lewis for about a year, so it should be coming it's, soon enough. It's got to be on its way. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I... Um, yeah, I had a little bit of a, um, like, I don't know, I, I got nervous about, like, my schoolwork last week. I'm going to be graduating soon. Shit's been, like, really busy, like, nonstop assignments up all night kind of thing. Right. Um, and I had a paper that was a day late already, and um, I got home a little too late to finish it, and long story short, just, like, really freaked out. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this sounds like a Britney Spears moment. <laughs> you punch yourself in the face. Yeah, um, you did. I I literally did. Yeah. No. I literally did. I. <laughs> I'm I, so happy that you're open <laughs> to talk about this. I would have never admitted to the. If I were to punch myself in the face and I got a black eye, I would have just blamed Lewis. <laughs> no, I gotta say I'm down to talk about it because this is crazy for me this is like not something anger is not within my temperament which is why i think this happened like i never let my anger out and i think it literally all just fucking exploded out Into of me your own once. eye um well i was like actively having like <laughs> i was having a tantrum in my house like a five-year-old right in really the worst least attractive way like i just we I'll be open it. about it because like we it happened it. and yeah. I'll I fucking strive to be better than that. But like it sucks. It happened. Um, and looking back, like, thank God it happened in front of my parents, mm-hmm. because otherwise I would have never in a million years been able to convince them that I did it to myself. <laughs> um, they would have been like sincerely concerned about my well-being and like who did you it hit to me yourself in the eye in front of your parents. They must have been mortified or they were scared. They were terrified. Um, were they like, yeah, uh, Alex, it's OK. And they were like, you're all on the ground crying together. Like one of those moments. <laughs> Almost. And I was like, just I'm like, just done. <laughs> finals. <laughs> I was like freaking out, screaming at my mom for absolutely no reason. My dad got upset because I was yelling at my mom. So he started yelling at me and I just like couldn't handle it in the moment and just started flailing my arms around. And I think that I like meant to to hit myself in the head, which is really not something that I've like done all my it's not a way that I've like always dealt with my emotions but I guess recently shit must be hitting me differently Uh in a way negative way I guess um but I just like go to like throw this like fist at the side of my head where like I have a fucking hard head I could take it you know um and I have my glasses on and like I must have been in such a fit of rage that I literally just just missed fucking missed and hit myself square in the nose um, with my glasses on and I was still just like in a, a complete panic but like 10 seconds later I was I just like started dripping blood literally all over the oh my place. god your parents like literally I got out. rocked in the face by myself <laughs> it was fucking insane what it, it was literally the most insane thing so as soon as you started bleeding what happened did you calm down like- that was the moment that I called I was literally it was like oh my god this is so fucking <laughs> I don't know why I'm sharing this I was like, she was like, now I'm hurt. Like, <laughs> like I got hurt. Like, I need help. Like, come and get me ice. Like, I was just like freaking out. <laughs> what were they like, though? My dad literally left the room, and my mom, <laughs> as soon as I started bleeding, like, literally turned from like being afraid that I was yelling at her to being like, all right, she just literally needs somebody to sit her down right now. And she like, she totally handled it so much better than 
anybody should ever be expected to. I I was literally sitting there. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. I'm like, I don't know why I did this. I really don't. I like, didn't. It was really scary. I'm like literally scared of myself right now. <laughs> this is not something that like has been part of my development. Oh, like, man. See, I've like, I've gotten so many like little crazy spurts throughout my life that I've never held it in enough to hit myself. I'm a big like, if I... Mm, not even anymore. I used to hit things like walls when I, I was like in high school and stuff a lot. That hurts your your fist though. It all hurts. I'm going for something that like I could like I don't know. I feel like just a knock in the head doesn't hurt as much as like a fist against the wall. Yeah, but I don't do I don't do that anymore. That's probably good. Yeah. I used to throw things when I was a kid, which is definitely not cool. I am a thrower. Um I, I throw things. I should revert back to throwing things, I think. I think throwing things is an okay way to express yourself. <laughs> Why not? Why can't you throw something when you're angry? Why? Why are people like, you're being crazy? It's like, let <laughs> me throw something if I'm angry. I just want to throw something. It's America. <laughs> like, I should be able to <laughs> fucking just throw something, right? Like, Absolutely. can I throw something? Also, What's wrong with that? The assertion, like, you're being crazy... I'm, I'm sorry, but there's nothing that's going to make me more crazy in that moment than you fucking telling well, me that I'm being crazy. Well, like, <laughs> yeah. And it's also like, it's not crazy. It's we being a human it takes a lot of shit out of you and in you. Like, it, it, it's a lot being a human. Yeah. No, there's a lot going on. So if you snap, it's not cr really crazy. Crazy is like a whole who knows what crazy even is. I mean, I think um, aren't we all crazy? A little yeah, bit? I think that's partly <laughs> why I feel so comfortable sharing this because like uh, it's just so fucking weird. Like uh, how I'll bet I'll bet it happens to a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've 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 thrown a tantrum in front of my boyfriend. Oh, yeah. I mean. Is he your boyfriend if you haven't <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a tantrum. Yeah, you, that's how you know that he loves you. Yeah, because he's still he there. Stays. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the what's the worst kind of tantrum that you've? Do you like? Is it just like screaming at the top of your lungs? Have you ever no. done that thing where you're just like you can't get enough volume out? That, no, or am I just I'm like not, crazy? No, I'm not. Well, <laughs> I'm not a huge screamer unless I'm being screamed at, and then I have to overpower. Well, yeah, that's usually where it comes from, <laughs> you know. So then it's like that. Then that's like a whole. Then that's it's like if I'm sc someone screaming and I'm screaming, it's like too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's already gone too far. It's way too far. I don't like anytime. Yeah, any and I'm, I'm Puerto Rican dating another Puerto Rican, so we scream. That's like that's the only way. <laughs> There's communication. I don't think I've ever spoken to him softly. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> ever. Once, oh my in my, once in my life. I don't think we've ever <laughs> we've ever not yelled at each other. <laughs> it's sort so, of beautiful, though. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. <laughs> um, last week at the creek, you were <laughs> so out. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, yeah. No, you, you were like, Louis, we're getting out of here. <laughs> like, your voice went down a few octaves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, I must have been fucking either tired. I don't know. Sometimes he also gets me really <laughs> stoned. That's what. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Really, really. My he'll we'll smoke like four or five blunts in like an hour. And I don't know how anybody smokes as much as Lewis does. And then I'm crazy. so tired. And then I'm like, I don't want to be out like socializing after five blunts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even stand straight. <laughs> what are you talking about? And then he's like offering me edibles. <laughs> It's it's a lifestyle. I don't know. I'm what still to say. holding this joint. I don't think it's lit. Um, but yeah, freakouts are very intense. Anyway, that's so funny. I'm gonna try to find better ways. Was it an awkward breakfast? Um, the next day, not at all. I I mean, with my dad, it was like a little weird. Um, but it was like it's fine, I guess. And with my mom, it was literally totally cool. She's like, yeah, moms are easy. She's really cool. Yeah. yeah. My mom's seen the worst of me. I so. already just feel like, yeah, part of it is like in the f now in the future when I'm a mom and my kid has like some sort of fucking mm -hmm. mental breakdown, I'll have to be like, ah, 
Mm-hmm. I get I it. Remember like, this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to, well, I used, when I was in college, I was like, oh, like away, but I would call my mom at like 2 a.m. like crying, hysterically crying. And I would be like, (gasps) I I just, I'm so tired. And she's like, it's okay. Just stay up and study a little longer. Those are the worst nights, man. I did that last night. I was finishing an assignment until 3.30 and then I got up for class at six Mm o'clock. It's like, what the fuck kind of way is that to live? Yeah. I what did you study in college? I stu- studied telecom, TV production with a minor in theater. A Word. Yeah, I'm a screen studies major. I had a class that was called reality TV. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Jersey Shore all day. Yeah, it was just like t- taught us about like the how a fast growing reality TV was. And it was during the Jersey Shore days. That sounds like an amazing class. It was really good. If you didn't get an A, I don't... I got an A. I, yeah, yeah. If you don't get an A in reality TV, like, what are we I doing I didn't here? go to class a lot, so sometimes I would just get, like, Bs because I didn't show up all semester. But I was like, I'll take a B. I don't give a shit. Ah, see, it's my strategy... It's worth it not to show up. My strategy about school is, like, if nothing else, show up to class, like, as often as you fucking can. Like, miss one or two classes over the semester. The teacher can't fail you, even if you kind of, like, hand in assignments late... You fuck up a little bit. The teacher is not going to fail somebody who is fucking there and attentive every day, you know? I I hope. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I'm supposed to graduate next week. People surprise me. Uh, I was just like, I I didn't really go to class much. Yeah, I mean, I did that at Penn State. And then I ended up having to leave, which was devastating because I had grown so accustomed to my party lifestyle there. Yeah, I was drinking a lot for sure. Yeah, it was it was a um, a fun time. Like I would like leave class and just go to a bar during the day. (laughs) That's that's really fun. I I found my um, and people would just be drinking like it was a Saturday. I think I found my group of stoners there. Oh, how fun! Had like that that experience i did too yeah that's where everyone starts smoking i think college that's the best or high school the people that started smoking in high school were pretty fucked though did you start smoking in high school yes um Um, i mean i did it for the first time sophomore year and then by like mid-junior year i was smoking every day oh not me i like tried it when i was 13 once and then not again until i was like 18 See, 13's early, though. 13's early enough to scare you off for a couple years. It did. It was like, it was just a weird situation. Oh, my gosh. So the first time I smoked weed, I had my best friend, Rachel, growing up. She was so bad. She was like, she was blonde and she was so pretty. And like, I like looked up to her. She was a month younger than me and I still look up to her. Disney House, Rachel? What? Disney House, Rachel? No, no, no. That was was Jessica. Jessica. Um, Damn. Rachel, she was... (laughs) Rachel, I met it when uh, I think. How old are you? What grade are you in when you're eight? In second grade? Um, yeah. Um, when I was in second grade, I like walked up to her, and this is so embarrassing. I like she was like sitting down first day of school. <laughs> she was like so pretty, and she was sitting with all these pretty girls. I was like this weird ashy brown kid. I was oh like, God, all but you were so cute. Stop. No, summer just ended, so I was really, really brown and like probably didn't refuse to like brush my hair or put lotion on that day. So I was like very, very skinny and like ashy. I was just like sticks of a brown stick. I was like, look up like a little brown stick bug. And I like walked up to her and I was like, hey, what's your name? She was like, Rachel. She was like all weirded out already. You could tell. And I was like, my name's Kim. Are you a tomboy or a girly girl? Because I'm a tomboy. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my intro. What was her fucking answer? <laughs> um, like, she was like, uh, I don't know. And I was like, okay, can I sit with you? And she was like, okay. And then I sat with her every day, and then we started being best friends. That's how you do it. Yeah. You got to fucking just hook them in. <laughs> <laughs> with some weird shit, bro. <laughs> she still reminds me about that. And she was, and she said that I would come in. It's so funny, and that my mom promised me we would get a dog from the pound every Friday. She said I would come in and be like, "This weekend we're getting a dog." And she was like, "For a fucking year, dude, you thought you were getting a dog." That's so sad, Kim. <laughs> Holy shit! I know. Oh my god. I know. Uh, she still reminds me to this day. She's like, "You never got that dog, huh?" I think you just reminded me of a couple phases of like that time in my life. Like, first of all, the not brushing the hair thing, like. I feel like between like 
somewhere around like second to like fourth grade. Yeah, you start. There was a thing where you're like, I literally looked in the mirror. I'd be like, I look better before I brush it. (laughs) (laughs) I was convinced. I was like, fuck that. (laughs) Nobody's touching a fucking brush to this hair. It was also like when you're really little, you don't really have an opinion. And then when you're old enough, you care. But that's like that age where you're like, I don't care. I just want to go play. Don't touch me. I want to go play. That's like that age. Yeah. So it's like fucking let your kids not have their hair brushed. I um let them go play. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> they don't care if their hair's not brushed. God bless them for still not caring. Like hold on to that for as long as possible. I swear <laughs> to God, Kim. I was like, I literally, maybe I'm just the weirdo, but I really thought I looked better. I was like, no, I f- you fuck it up when you brush it. Like, it doesn't look as good. Really? Sincerely. That was like my, I had a thought process behind not brushing my hair. It it's wasn't so out of laziness. I was, I remember um, my biggest thing is my mom didn't let me pick out my own clothes. And it, it's something like I, I resented so much that it's something like when I become a parent that I'm going to like make sure that the kid can always just wear whatever they want because I it's something that really really bothered me was I mean constantly um, it was always on my mind that like the clothes I was wearing were picked by someone else and I couldn't choose them and I don't know why but it always really bothered me would she just pick them from this like not let you pick stuff from the store or would she not literally like pick your clothes every single day like like lay out your clothes. And I mean, be like, this when, is what you're when today. we'd go, we'd go like school shopping like once a year, and I'd pick and we'd go shopping together. And we'd choose outfits together. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like in the mornings, I wanted to pick my outfit for school. Like so I, important. Yes, and she just would always be like, "No, I don't. We don't have time, or it doesn't match." Or she was like so weird about it matching. Mm. I knew moms like that of friends, and I literally hated it in them. I remember in fourth grade, I took a survey of my class, and I made every single person sign a checklist on whether they picked their own clothes or not and brought it home to my mom because most of my kids, most of my friends picked their own clothes. Did she start to let you pick? I don't remember. I mean, if if she did, then that's sort of like a fucking awesome adult way of, for your fucking fourth grade self to handle that situation. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't. I, I think it was like the end of fourth grade. So like after that, it didn't matter because I started picking my like, clothes out in like fifth grade. True. By then, I was like getting titties, you know, and like oh my god, people started fifth getting grade? horny in fifth grade. Remember, that's when like shit started popping. Fifth grade is when shit started. Fifth grade popping. was when I noticed another girl's boobs like in my class for the first time. I was immediately jealous, and I was like, "Don't worry, mine are gonna grow soon." My friend started her period in class in fifth grade. Oh, that sucks. All through her legs. It was so embarrassing. Oh, my God. I would, were you embarrassed for her, too? Yeah, and I was like, what do we do? And she was like, I, don't worry. I put my jacket around my pants. And I was like, okay. Aw, that's so sad. Mm-hmm. I um, was embarrassed in my period and didn't tell anybody, my mom, anyone. Just literally tried to deal with it on my own for, like, <laughs> two months. Really? Then, like, the third one, I was like, all right, this is, like, a little, like, Got a little heavier, and I was like, "This is out of control." I should, <laughs> I should tell someone. I should definitely this. tell someone. Ask somebody what to do. I don't know. <laughs> Seem this seems irresponsible now. <laughs> your room smelled like pennies. Your mom's <laughs> like, "Why does your room smell like pennies?" I like literally threw out all these underwear that I'd been wearing. My mom's like, "Like I was like, I need new underwear." She's like, "What what happened to all of them?" You know? Uh, yeah, I, I had to come clean. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I remember when I got my period, my mom made it like, so, was so embarrassing. She like told everyone in our family and she was like <laughs> calling everyone. And then she was like staring at me like nonstop, just like glaring at me and crying. <laughs> she, like, <laughs> she like could not handle it. Was... And she was like, and I was like, please stop looking at me. And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, stop talking to me, <laughs> please. I was like so mean because it's like. You're making this worse. That was my worst fear. I was so private about it for like, I asked my mom not to tell anybody. I was just like super private about it. I had a friend. I think this is really strange. Um, she, for both she and her sister, her family took them out to dinner with the whole family to celebrate when they got their periods for the first time. Uh. It was like a big, like you're a woman celebration. I really thought that was, like, so uncomfortable. I'm not into that. I'm just, like, (laughs) let's just, like, be normal about it. Like, let's just be chill. (laughs) 
I'm like, just gonna be like, yeah, yeah, cool, that happened. Like, yeah, like maybe we could all even just pretend that it didn't for like a little while till I'm used to it. You know? Yeah, that's how I felt. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. It's like we don't all need to make this a thing. My mom made it such a huge thing that it was like I wanted to stay home the second day of my period from school, but I couldn't because then my mom was like, I'll stay home with you. And I was like, oh, I'll go to school. <laughs> That's so intense. Because she was like so like on my fucking bloody dick about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be women together. Kim. And I was like, get away. She made it. She made it so cringy. Like, I guess, like, from a mother's perspective, it must be this weird thing, like, oh, my baby's growing up, but, like, ew, get away from me, mom. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, just trying to, like, do this on my own. And it's just, like, just give me a minute before you start making right? phone calls. Like, <laughs> and I mean, glaring at me. Stop glaring at me. Like, you don't like, need everybody's help for this. Dinner was, like, silent. <laughs> it was, like, the, the worst. Just the sound of like <laughs> knives scratching on the plate and somebody goes, congrats. My you. stepdad used to have this rule, isn't this weird, that we weren't allowed to talk at dinner. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, you know, Wait, I Kim. thought it was normal growing up and no. then I told people that and they were like, That's weird. I was like, Really? You guys were allowed to talk at dinner? How are you not like more fucked up from that? That's I don't really know. Weird. He'd be like, you no, know, he's like, dinner's not for talking for eating you don't remember all those like commercials on i Nickelodeon know about, like, they how- would come on and he would i feel like he would get sour about them <laughs> <laughs> it's like 90 percent of close families bond at the dinner table like, yeah it was really weird um yeah he was like you're gonna choke if you talk yeah my family has a couple weird rules like no i mean i guess it's to me, it's normal, but no singing or whistling at the dinner table. It's no like, singing? No singing, no whistling at the dinner okay, table. Okay, well, those are like normal things you shouldn't do during dinner. Yeah, I'm with but it, yeah. I don't know why they had to make those <laughs> rules. I was kind of an excitable kid. Oh, oh were you? Okay. <laughs> so it's still a rule, huh? No, I mean, like, it's... Now, actually, my dad's the one who breaks it. Oh, uh, okay. But it's still in action. We're like, yo, no singing, Wait. no whistling. Come yeah, on. that's a thing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> did uh, you ever get your dog that you yeah s- but then my mom made me give it away oh my god kim you're gonna make me cry today <laughs> what the fuck it's okay i'm puerto rican that's like not even the worst i I've told had, people i've had to run from a cock fight <laughs> <laughs> my mom got me into a cock fight i had an issue that i feel like you probably didn't have um what which was in second grade, like, I had to beg, beg, beg my mom to get my ears pierced. And when I finally did, like, I, I would, like, pretend. I'd tell the girls at school that I'm going to get my, like, second hole done. And oh, then shit. I got, like, magnetic ma- magnetic earrings and just, like, tried to, to trick everybody. Yeah. I was, I they caught on. Yeah. But, like, they I feel like do. Puerto Rican babies get their ears pierced, like, I think I was birth, two months usually. old. Yeah. Yeah. I was two months old when my ears were pierced. I had to beg my mom when I was eight. I was like, please, it's I'm gonna, really all I want. That's the mom I'm going to be, though. I'm like, I, why would you get your child's ear pierced? Like, for no reason. I feel like there's actually just no size earring that's small enough for an infant. Well, it's also like, why do you feel the need to decorate your infant? It's so cute. I know. Why do you feel <sighs> the need to pierce it, to decorate oh, it for no reason babies. without it wanting to be decorated? Kids don't care, and when if she gets older and she wants her ears pierced, then she'll beg you to have her ears pierced, and then you can be like, okay. I mean, could the same be said about like circumcisions today? E- probably. Like it's it's kind of cosmetic at this point. There's we have soap, and like if you shower every day, you're not you're gonna be fine. You know? Yeah. Why are we doing that to infants? Yeah. I feel like infant and elective sh- surgery is just should like not be a thing. You know? I know. If I think if it's not necessary, like if your son really wants a circumcision, he could wait until he's of age and and get one. Go get one. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least before it's easy. Well, I guess kids start getting boners at like really young ages. Like how young? That's really creepy. Young. Like. I feel like 13, like, like 13, 14. No, no, diaper ages. Sometimes they get boners. Ew. Like even little babies, like my my sister's like, like six-month-old like son carrot? gets a little baby boner. Yeah, 
think it's like hard. That's disgusting. It's weird. It makes me uncomfortable when my dog is hard. Yeah, it's not good. It's like, let's not do that. Like, keep it over there. It's too much. I don't like a dog. Like, I, don't I don't like, like any innocent dog. little being with a hard penis. Just doesn't. Like, it doesn't equate to me. Nothing that's a, not a man yeah. with a hard <laughs> dick should not be hard. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I couldn't be more with you on that. What else? <laughs> What else? What else? I um, I've been trying so hard to, like, eat healthy, and I literally think I have like a sugar addiction. Don't we all though? Well, first of all, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't not. I mean, even if it's now, it's like okay. So I'm trying to eat healthy, and now I'm just consuming fruit like. I don't think like sugar from fruit is that bad for you. It's still sugar. But like it's not that bad for you. Like why are you so against sugar? To eat sugar? it a lot? How much? How many pieces of fruit? I mean you should have more than like six servings. I mean I, I have no idea what the number is. But like how many fruits do you have a day? I have like I'll eat like a banana in the morning then a mango and then I'll have like a juice. All right. That's like three or four like fruits, right? It's like five or six. That's a lot. You could like cut that down to like two or three. But yeah, but it's like if I'm not eating sugar, I need to eat fruits. That's the thing I substitute it with. What about like greens? You should get like quinoa. I hate veggies. Oh, greens. Yeah. Get like quinoa. Yeah. Make it with like some veggies in it and yeah. it's super proteiny and it'll like fill you up. Really? Yeah. Okay. Although I feel like you look amazing. No, I'm not ready for summer. I'm fat. I'm my waist right here. Uh, you have no idea. I'm fat. Mm. I look. I look good with clothes on, but there's. I'm definitely not bikini ready. I I always feel like I'm in a weird position when this happens because like. Whenever I'm, like, trying to tell somebody, like, you're literally, literally not fat, they always come back at me with, like, shut the fuck up. You're, like, so skinny. No, no, no. Like, I know that, I know you're that literally I'm not, known I, to I be know. a super hot girl. Like, what I know the fuck that are you I'm saying? Not, no, no, no. I know that I'm not fat. It's just I've been eating so much sugar, which is why I stopped sugar, that I got, like, that sugar belly, like, that fupa. It's like a cute little summer belly, though. No, I don't think, I don't want cute little belly anywhere in the description of my belly. Oh my god! But like, you have an oh, ass, ass, though. That's true. That Wait, ass. like, <laughs> I'm, you know, nothing you there. An, you have an ass. I've seen your Instagram. That was years ago. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, did it go somewhere? It's so far gone. Oh my god. You, I gotta just squat. I know. I really do. Look. Look how I like, flat. Look how little flat and tiny my butt is now. Yeah, you can roll a blunt on that ass. <laughs> it's literally just. It's like a board. Well, you know how I, I sit in a squat sometimes like this. <laughs> like you just hold the position? Sometimes when it, I just sit like this. Is, it, would that re, is that really working them? I don't know. Do, do you see the... Um, <laughs> you see, do, you, do you see it in the mirror? You're like, ah, oh, shit held that squat for two minutes i know today. you guys can't see the way i'm sitting but it's like very gargoyly the it's position like um how you imagine if you have to like poop in the woods <laughs> it's what squatty potty does <laughs> um mm -hmm. it seems like it would definitely be engaging back there i'm just so lazy what like, do you mean i'm too lazy to work out like it, and i want to it's not even like, for me it's not even working out it's about the food the food is the problem for me. It's not about working out. It's the food. You don't even have to work out if you diet. <sighs> and you live in New York and you just walk a little bit everywhere. I guess so. You don't have to work out. If you eat really healthy, no. you're just walking uphill all day. You're, if, it's, it's not going to be a struggle. That's you're not going to change the this trains. little tiny butt that I have, though. Like, I need to work out a little bit if I want to, like, you know. Yeah, you got We just games. have different problems here. Yeah, we do have different problems. If we merged our problems. Oh my god, we would we'd be the hottest body. Yeah. Well, 
if we split it in half, we'd be <laughs> one of the hottest body and then one like a real shitty body, I guess. Yes, true, <laughs> true. We'll give that other body to someone else. Yeah. Fuck that body. <laughs> mm. So, um, did you see um, the new, uh, what's the new fucking dumbass superhero movie? Um, Infinity War. Infinity War. Infinite War, whatever it's called. How do you feel about all these superhero movies? I think they suck. Mm-hmm. Do you too? Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, like, feel like such a bitch saying that. Such an unpopular opinion, but like, it's fuck, a, they th- suck. They're so bad. <sighs> it's like... I mean, it's impressive how, like, people can sit through three hours of a movie. It's just, like, the same thing's happening. The superheroes sit there. An evil guy comes. They punch a bunch of walls. They beat the evil guy. A superhero sits there. Mm -hmm. An evil guy comes. They punch a bunch of walls. The evil guy dies. Next scene. A superhero sits there. The hero dies. It's, like, the whole thing, and it's, like... Even even when things don't go you, the way you want them to, you know they're going to because you know they're going to make another movie. So mm-hmm. it's like, does it even, how does anybody even get into it? The last one I saw was Justice League. Um, Lewis took the interns to see it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was so bad. Like, I, I mean, the dialogue is like so i mean and I, I guess let me guess lewis and mike were like laughing i mean they laughed they cried <laughs> <laughs> that's how uh, lewis was during the movie he was like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it, it was <laughs> you're a comic how is this funny i mean before we even w- were all the way out of the theater they were arguing about like the best scenes and shit uh, and i was just like i mean aquaman was hot for that's sure. what I was like. I was like, wake me up when Thor's. A-. I was like, <laughs> I was like, tell me when Thor's on screen. <laughs> Thor, are you just saying, like, Michael White B. Boys. Jordan? What we spoke too soon, bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who does he even play in those? Um... He plays the evil guy in Black Panther. That sounds hot. I know. Black Panther, I'd watch though. Black Panther. There's sorry, I, in we're in Harlem and someone might be dying. What is that? I think it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, girl. I think the mic's definitely gonna pick that up. Uh, yeah, no, I could hear it. <laughs> it's <laughs> intense. Um. Yeah, I had I can't remember if I've seen Black Panther. That you would weird? know. Come on, it was the only black superhero. It's notoriously the only black superhero movie. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. How was it? Fine? I can't remember. <laughs> um, I can't remember. I can't get into superhero movies at all. Did you see Infinity War? I have to have seen Black Panther. Have you seen Black Panther? No. Okay, because there's a scene in Black Panther where they're like throwing each other into a pond. Wakanda. That sounds right. Wakanda. Yeah, that's... I just can't get into it, you know? No. Yeah, I... I don't know. Did you see Infinity War? Yeah. I saw it. <laughs> I mostly like thought of things I had to do in my head That's while how I staring feel, at actually. the screen. It's such a passive experience to watch these movies that are so explosive visually. Mm-hmm. Where like whereas like with um like a, a dramatic movie that actually makes you think is actually yeah. a way more active experience. You're like yeah engaging with characters or a suspenseful stuff. movie where you're yeah. like what the fuck does this mean and you're watching the screen and you're going wait is he gonna get there in time though yeah you know, how is he gonna pull this off this the stuff that's just meant to affect your like lower senses like fear and like anxiety and trigger all these like easy emotions is fucking too easy to, it's it's like I, they blow right past me i don't yeah. know yeah yeah, I like scary movies in theaters, oh, I love scary movies. especially in a theater because it's like extra loud. Well, OK, I actually disagree and- because I, very often in theaters, um, like people will ruin scary movies for you. Like people who are too scared, screaming too soon kind of thing oh, yeah. pisses me off. Oh, but I get so into it. I don't even care, really. I like a I like a lonesome viewing in my home. Yeah, that's good, too. If it's scary. Yeah. Do you have a favorite scary movie? 
Like I, one that scared the shit out of you. Well, the ring definitely fucked me out for a while when I was in middle school. The ring, remember? Uh, yeah. Her crawling out of the TV and like her hair like that. And that was like the mm-hmm. first time I was seeing someone like crawl out of a TV and it looked realistic. There's it was like, like really like advanced. <laughs> There's this really silly moment like toward the beginning of that movie where like like the mother like opens the door and finds her daughter's like corpse in the closet and it's like eyes roll back into yeah. its head and that moment of that movie gave me such nightmares yeah it's kid. all really scary it was really Ooh, scary the sixth sense fucked me up <laughs> as a kid i fucking love Bro, that movie the it's sixth great. sense fucked me up i think i still have nightmares about it as an adult isn't that crazy? That that is yeah. And I'm I mean, I've watched it since then and it's been fine like for me, but like I still have like see, like the bicycle scene where the dead girl is on the bicycle outside of his car in the beginning. That scene has I've like dreamt that scene because it's mm-hmm. like it fucked me up so much as a kid it like scarred me a little bit, I think. <laughs> it's like one of the first scary things I've ever seen. Yeah. I So it's like some it's deep in the, my memory as the first thing. I think the very first thing for me was actually Freddy Krueger. I used to like be, have trouble falling asleep because I'd like imagine him like rising under my sheets and like freaking me out. Yeah. <laughs> but um Freddy Krueger never got me until I was like a o- little bit older. I think th- either the first thing was that or um the fucking clown it it I think when I was five years old, I accidentally walked into a room where my dad and his friends were watching it. And he was like, don't look. And I looked at the TV naturally. And it was right at the part Mm. where he was in the sewer. (laughs) It was like the perfect scary part where he was talking to the kid and he was in the sewer. Yeah, that's like the most iconic scene. Yeah. I think it's the opening. Yeah. Damn. The new one was actually pretty good. I kind of liked it. Did you yeah, see it? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was I remember. Well done. You know how I know it was good because I remember it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it was. Yeah, that kind of movie. Yeah, it was memorable. Did you see the Sign. Babadooks? Oh yeah, that was good. That's actually my favorite scary movie of all time. What? I think Babadook. It was really good. It was just so good. It was really scary. Really fucking scary. Yeah, it was a good one. Like, even now, like if um I hang my jacket the wrong way in my house and it like just like wow. looks like clothes on the wall my jacket, did that. My, ja- <laughs> my jacket did that the other night gotta take it down i fucking hate my, it and i woke up like four times and stared at it and i was like should i take it down and i just kept ignoring it but i should have because it bothered me way too much but i fought through it yeah no i don't fight through that shit if it's bothering me i I, what's the point my biggest fear is taking it down and then waking it up waking up and it's up again i have that thought every time i take it down for sure so it's like i'm just gonna leave create, it there because i'm not gonna let whatever is creating new fears <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm just not gonna let whatever it is win this one i'm gonna win this one and sleep through that scary shit uh, uh oh my god could you imagine yeah i mean that that would be really fucking horrifying and then you'd be like did i dream about taking it down (laughs) or did i take it down and something put it up i i don't (laughs) i don't like when you have to try to distinguish between your dreams and reality (laughs) when your dreams are like super duper close like you're in your actual bedroom or whatever yeah did you try my lucid dreaming tactic no not yet still dreaming of the same place though i dreamt about it last week really yeah I still have. I, I don't know if I could do justice to a drawing of it, but goddamn, I'm still dreaming of the same place every night. Every single night. Every single night. You gotta start exploring different places there. You should try to lucid dream there, because then maybe you'll figure out why you've been dreaming there the whole time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's always fun now. I mean, most of the time it's fun. Sometimes it's like suspenseful fun, like kind of scary adventure, you know? I love those dreams. Yeah. When it's like there's a, there's a danger element, but you're kind of coming out on top and you yeah. have a good feeling about it. Yeah. Good you're dreams. You're like, whoa. It's like very cartoonish where like something breaks and you're falling, but then you land okay. I, I have like um, dreams where I'm like kidnapped and like 
I like have to like earn the trust of my kidnappers and <laughs> oh, then I've like been there. sneak out through a back doorway that I learned about or something like I that. Had, I had a dream I got kidnapped one time and he was just hitting me with a glass bottle on my back and it wasn't like breaking or very hard and I was like, ow, pretending it hurt so he wouldn't hit me harder. So, like, it, yeah, like, you were waiting for him to leave. Like, yeah, my kidnapper was a pussy. He <laughs> 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 was like lightly hitting me. I was like, oh no, stop. Oh. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to have a dream that a guy would like throw me into a sack and then just like throw me over his back and take uh, me away. And that was a really scary dream for sure. That's terrifying. Like, oh, the second week, in a, I'm literally recalling so many more scary dreams than I could last week. Um, Hold on. No problem. Sorry. You know what? It makes me nervous. That's so funny. It makes me nervous when I get a lot of notifications. Oh wait, it yeah. makes and um and I haven't posted anything. Why does it make you nervous? Because I I'm scared that like I accidentally like leaked a nude picture or something on Instagram. <laughs> like if I just get to start getting a bunch of notifications on Instagram and I haven't posted anything, I'm like, what did I what <laughs> what's going on? It like puts me into a panic, and that's how you know I take too many um pictures isn't it horrifying that that's always just like at the tip of your finger Mm -hmm. to accidentally do that yeah because i've almost done it one time i accidentally went live when i didn't know it and i was talking about um this guy i wanted to bang damn i mean that's not so bad i guess no as much as like if you accidentally fucking go live while you're Getting out of the shower. And yeah. I mean, it was off. when I was single, too. So it, like, didn't matter. But, like, still, I didn't want people to hear. Yeah. No. Personal stuff and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just... And I, a few people, like, were commenting. And then I just went off live. And I just shut it off. I think... I was um, like, oh, fuck. I think that in my camera roll, there are an equally embarrassing number of just, like, selfies. Yeah. As, like whatever other pictures that's like, a fear too of just like, an ugly selfie just a selfie where i'm just like kind of like being <laughs> retarded with myself for a minute um yeah you know like i just like you know like just giving myself something yeah and, like, like definitely mean to delete it at some yeah. point <laughs> or like when you're trying to be hot and it just doesn't, it doesn't work, work at yeah. all and you're like no one should ever see this the I'm lighting's of, wrong like in the worst way i have a huge fear of doing that huge fear but yeah. Could you imagine, like, well, it's uh, always at the tip of your fingers, um, tweeting a nude by accident. And then it also comes into play, like, the the idea that like you could get fucked up enough and like do something like that on purpose, like even like write something that you don't mean or whatever, and it could just go out to the whole world. Like, it's oh my terrifying. gosh, uh, me and Lewis, it was so funny. Me and Lewis got in an argument the night before I had Instagrammed us like kissing in the cab. Uh, it was like three in a row of us like it was like a really romantic instagram story of us just like <laughs> making out in a cab and like being silly and then um the next day we'd gotten into an argument and i left right after he had bought me a coffee and i took a <laughs> i took a video of me pouring out the coffee the <laughs> latte you just bought me and throwing it in the trash so petty and sent it to him <laughs> and he was fucking furious and then he was like not talking to me and i get over things way faster than he does so like an hour later i was laughing about how ridiculous so you it literally was literally poured all your anger fucking into the so, trash so i made like this video it was like a video of it, it, and it said life hits you fast and it was us kissing and then it faded into me pouring the coffee into the trash and it was like so funny and he got so mad he like was like take that down <laughs> it's not funny <laughs> but it was like oh, really he, truly he literally funny. must have known it was really funny that sounds fucking hilarious yeah, it was really funny i shouldn't have taken it down oh my god but he was so mad i was like all right fine it's not worth it see that's the kind of stuff i need to start doing like pouring out the fucking coffee that somebody buys me because i'm pissed at them i feel no, like that feel is like what's gonna prevent crazy. me no it's so much better than giving yourself a fucking black eye. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I th- I think literally that's what it is that I'm lacking. Is he like, was like, "That's the last coffee I'll ever buy you." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just be a bitch next time you need coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just run on caffeine. 
Yeah, it was pretty dramatic though to pour out the coffee, but the video was really funny. It is, but God, that sounds satisfying. Like when you're angry at the person, mm -hmm. and like, oh, if it was like a latte, like a it five was. dollar coffee, it was. Oh. It was a venti too. Oh, I like that. Brand new, like f a minute after I got it. I know that probably made Lewis really mad, and like I had to go buy another coffee. <laughs> it didn't make me very happy, but happier than I would have been if I would have had to just drink it and take in that anger. <laughs> Actually, I did that on a way lesser scale last week with a water bottle that my boyfriend gave me. Really? You threw it out? I was No, I literally poured it out. <laughs> I just poured it out. In front of him? No. Oh, you got to do it in front of him. No, I would never do it in front of him. Uh -huh. Just for myself to make myself feel better. Maybe I should start doing it It doesn't make me feel better if the other person doesn't see it. I think that's my problem. I'm like, you need to see that I'm... No, I think you're just being straightforward and authentic with people. No, I'm being insane. Oh no! Just look at it. Look at the, look at it the way I'm putting it. Can't trust me. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just being you're straightforward. Just, you're a fucking authentic. real ass bitch. It's <laughs> yeah, that's fine. true. Yeah, I'll pour my coffee. Don't disrespect me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your fucking coffee if this is how you're gonna treat me. Oh well, fuck yeah! I'll buy my own. Oh, and I it's did. It's so real. I bought a cheaper coffee. I respect the fuck in a out deli of that. deli down the street. I like that. I, I need a little more of you yeah. in my personality. I need a little less of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. I mean, yeah. I think that goes for everybody. <laughs> we all need a little less of ourselves, people. For sure. <laughs> people are insane. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen someone do? Seen someone do? Mm -hmm. uh, what? What? scale of crazy are we talking like about? in public like hmm like a fight a fist fight i haven't witnessed many any fist fights really a in my drunken, life um anything damn. crazy you never seen some crazy shit the other day in central park i was going for a run and there was um it was like such a beautiful day me and Lewis were running. It was so nice. The, their leaves were like falling and they were like all purple and everything was like the weather was like 72. It was perfect. And I look over on this bench and this homeless dude has a grocery bag tied around his arm and he has a needle sticking out of him and he's squirting blood everywhere. Oh my God. It was like the most gruesome Jesus. scene in the most beautiful place. And I was oh, just no. so pissed. It like really made me... Like, so grossed out and so upset. And it was, like, such a nice area. And he was just bleeding everywhere. His fucking heroin blood. Were there, was the, like, kids and, like, was it, like, a park environment? Like... It was, like, you know, Central Park, how around the edges it has the benches mm -hmm. before you go in yeah. from the actual street. Okay. It so... was on one of those benches. Oh, so... so, like, the entrance to Central Park. So, it's, like, yeah, there's families walking by there. God, that's brutal. And it was a lot of blood. And I still remember it now. And it was just like a gross, dirty grocery bag tied around his arm. Damn. You know how like they tie belts around his arm? Yeah. It was like an he old... He just like got one off the out street. of the garbage yeah. or something like that? Yeah. That's so fucking sad. That person is not going anywhere. No, he's going to die. Yeah. Damn. But it's like, let's speed it up because you're making this Central Park look dirty. <laughs> you got to stop making the park look that dirty. That's fucking gross. I mean, if you're going to do that, go in an alley is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least, like, have, like, the decency to be a drug addict out of the public eye. Yeah. Oh, um, we'll do that in a back alley and bleed in a back alley somewhere. It's like, we don't need that on the park bench under this beautiful tree that's isn't there, like, some argument for, like, advocacy for, like, safe houses where people could just, like, do their drugs there? Like... I wish there was. Like, get clean needles and shit like that. Do your drugs there. Not fuck with society. I don't know. I don't know anything about, like, politics or what would actually be good I for the world. I don't know, but... but like, that sounds good, right? I just don't want to see it. Like, right? I don't want to see it. Just the other night, I guess... I, I haven't seen a lot of crazy shit, but just the other night um, when my mom and I pulled up to caroline's mm -hmm. um we got into a parking spot and like chilled for a couple minutes talking some guy came out and like tossed his jacket up in the air and let it fall really dramatically to the ground and then just started like waving his arms like a presentation <laughs> and shit and my mom was like lock the doors <laughs> he was like a couple you know maybe like 10 feet 
10, 20 feet away from our car. She's like, lock the doors. We're going to we're gonna go and uh, pay for the meter together. We're going to stand together when we go. She, it was pretty crazy what he was doing. He, like, literally stood there kind of was very dirty, homeless-looking yeah. dude, tossed his jacket around, like, assumed these, like, different almost catatonic poses for, like, <laughs> For like three, <laughs> like 30 seconds to like three minutes each. <laughs> um, really, really weirdly. And then eventually picked up his jacket and just went it's on his way. It's my worst nightmare. It was really weird. I get really scared when stuff like that happens. I'm like, are we going to die? Is this guy a zombie? I mean, yeah, we were super early. So we, we just hung out in the car with the doors locked and like with our eyes on him. But she, my mom was like, don't look, don't look. And I was like... Mom, I've never wanted to look at anything more in my life. <laughs> He's so interesting. <laughs> you obviously wanted you to look. Like that's the problem. The people who you're not supposed to look at are so clearly the most crazy interesting. Too. Like the other day this girl was wearing like these two huge different color neon earrings. And I was like staring at her and she looked at me like she was annoyed. <laughs> like, what are you <laughs> What I was did you expect when you left the house like that? Like <laughs> I love when people like get annoyed when you look at them when they have like crazy shit going on. There, there is a thing where it's like the crazier that somebody fucking dresses, the more annoyed they are that you're staring at them. Yeah. Like, I mean, when you fucking dyed your hair that color and shaped it that way, and then <laughs> added all the chains that connect your clothing to your body, like, what yeah. did you? Yeah. What did you think? What did you think was going to happen? You look like a walking Spencer's. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. It's like, oh, I just like have four piercings in my nose because it's authentic to me. Like, all uh, right. Well, people are going to look at that, man. I'm sorry. Did you have any really weird kids in your high school? I went to an all girls school. So you, you had some weird girls. Um, I did have some weird lots girls. Lots of lesbians. Uh, lots of lesbians. We did have this one girl, I don't want to say her name, but she's like, she was actually really cool. I ended up being friends with her like towards senior year. Uh -huh. But as freshmen, me and my friends would kind of refer to her. We didn't know her name and we'd be like, you know that girl who kind of looks like somebody like like chopped her up and put her back together. Oh my God. Like, that's <laughs> that was the vibe she gave off. Oh no. <laughs> she was cool. We ended well, up being friends. Why did she give up off that vibe? Just like. Her, like she was so pale and her like makeup she would do her eyeliner really thick on the bottom um oh my god like, just really intense and her hair was like always really oily and slicked down against her and really long it was just intense like you know what i remember we, what, what i used to do in middle school and the girls used to do and it was like the first act of like being kind of sexual is we would take candy out of boys' mouths. That is so it. slutty. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> In fact, how old? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alex is so much breathing. That's so much sluttier than kissing. Well, not with our mouths. Like we'd take it out with our hands and then put it in our mouths. Oh, okay. I literally pictured you like taking it out <laughs> no it was Maybe much I'm grosser sweating. we oh would take God. it out of their fingers and like eat it that's like slutty that's Kim. pretty slutty yeah right? yeah oh i remember I, we would do that i would smack my f fifth grade daughter if she no 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 that was like um seventh or eighth grade that's so gross <laughs> that was like 12 or 13 like only the hot guys yeah like how chewed like, was the candy it would be like they have to a adjust, lollipop or something and you take it, you know. Yeah, that's a sl lollipops are slutty candies to begin with. Oh, yeah. Like, like sucking on a red lollipop is definitely a sexual innuendo for sure. Right. Yeah. But sometimes I just like a lollipop. I'm not going to lie. Delicious. It's really good. So good. The one with the gum. Blow bubble pop. yum. Blow pop. Blow pop. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Bubble yum. What am I saying? Blow pop. Yeah. Yeah, Tootsie Pops are okay, too. Remember like, the rumor of Tootsie Pop that you could, if you did something with a rapper, you got a toy or something? What, like, Was collect, that true? collected 10,000 or something? Yeah, I don't know. right? Wasn't there a rumor about Tootsie Pop rappers? I don't know. I know there was, like, their commercials were, like, how many licks does it take to get to the center? Yeah. So when I was a kid, I used to literally... Like, Try to count? Like, 
like I was autistic for sure <laughs> just like trying to count every time and like being upset with myself that I always had to take the bite <laughs> commercials are how so far true. did you get to I have no idea I just Someone's remember probably trying. done it oh I'm sure I'm sure there's also like an average it has to depend on like not to get sciencey over here, but like the yeah. pressure you put on with your tongue, how moist your mouth is, how big the lollipop was, yeah, how how big your tongue is. Yeah. These are all factors. Yeah. Do you enclose it entirely around your Inside. lips between each lick, or are you just licking with your tongue? Yeah. These are all going to change <laughs> the outcome of this That's, equation. You're right. There's really no right answer. There's no some things the universe holds as a mystery mm -hmm. and how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop is one of those the world will never know the world will never know wow that's probably the best ad campaign of all time now that i think about it mm -hmm. besides got milk they were killing it they were fucking murdering got milk Murdered. hottest celebrities ever all the hottest all celebrities. the milk on their face Just it was like sexual tripping it was oh Innuendo for cum, right? Yeah. But where did that go? What happened to that? Cows, pita. I mean, milk's bad for you now. It's still out there. I know. It's killing it too. I love it. I love milk too. Oh, it tastes so good. Literally a big glass of Soy milk. Soy milk's so garbage. Disgusting almond milk. Oh, uh, fucking. <laughs> but it's like, you know, it's really gross. What? This is, I think this is true. Yeah. And don't quote me on this. Okay. But I read somewhere that in like milk, it's like usually has like 20% blood and pus in it in a gallon. 20% of the gallon is like blood and pus and it's bleached white and all mixed together. So you can't really see it. But then how does it taste so good? Like, I, it's not that I don't believe you. It's just maybe like... Maybe that's what makes it taste it good. It doesn't equate that, like, blood and pus could taste like fucking m delicious white milk. I know. Not to say that anything bad about chocolate milk is also delicious. I know. Girl, I've been drinking YooHoo like nobody's business. Really? I rediscovered YooHoo recently. Makes me feel like a 90s chick. I love it. I haven't had a YooHoo in a long time. I've never been a big YooHoo fan, but I am a huge chocolate milk fan. I mean, huge chocolate milk fan. Ovaltine <sighs> it gives me terrible gas, but I still Ovaltine love it. does. No, just like any chocolate milk. Like yeah, chocolate milk in particular. Like one glass, like it's my tummy, but it's so good. It's worth it. It's worth it. We've been gross, fucking. F animals but it's worth it yeah you have to drink it you have to i remember when i was younger one time i drank most of my chocolate milk and i asked my mom if i could have another glass and she said no so i had this thought that if i put water in the cup and filled it the rest of the way i would just have more chocolate milk right i don't know why it was logical in my head at the time because it was like a quarter of the way i was like i'll fill it with water and i'll have a full glass of chocolate milk Okay, you didn't realize you were diluting it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so I did that, and I took a sip, and I couldn't drink chocolate milk for like two weeks oh, after no. that. Yeah. You ruined it. Yeah. Oh. It was not good. It was like well water from the sink. That's terrible. Have you ever had well water? You mean just like tap water? No, well water from a well under the ground. I'm a New Yorker. I don't know what that means. No I mean, well water. We don't have wells. Oh, uh, yeah. We like had a wishing well. Yeah, we had well water. That's crazy. That's so suburban. Holy shit. Not like a wishing well. Like <laughs> it's un like underground well water. Like, but it comes like through your tap. Yeah, and it you have to it's put like salt the in the town? tank, and it kind of smells like bad, like eggs. <laughs> Hmm. It smells like uh, the water smells like eggs if you don't put salt in the tank. We're from Florida. Mm -hmm. I mean, I literally always I grew up just thinking like, don't drink the tap water if you're not in New York or New Jersey. Yeah. 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 We we wouldn't drink from the sink for sure. Damn. We would go like to stores and get big gallons of water. Damn. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. Um, no, that's crazy. Uh, I guess I never realized that it was weird. <laughs> no, I don't. It's not weird for most places in the country. I think actually like there's very limited spots that have like awesome drinking water. Yeah. Even California's water is not like really good. Yeah. No, drink. not at all. Um, New York's like some of the cleanest water. Like any place in the like midwest obviously there's just they're literally look around there's no water near them like yeah it's gross yeah yeah we take a lot of things for granted i guess Mm -hmm. true living here well this was our episode it was a good one it was a good one you guys thank you for listening um Follow me on Twitter. (laughs) I'm stoned. Follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Um, Check out Stone Science on YouTube. Yeah, follow me on um, Instagram. Intern underscore Skrillex. Yeah. She always looks at me confused. Is that (laughs) it or not? I'm just making sure like in my head. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. All right, you guys. Bye. Bye, everyone.